All right. I think um maybe it might be just three of us, maybe some other folks might join a little bit later, but thanks for uh joining. Uh, excited to have you uh, present the KSR project. We want to learn more about it. Uh, the video of this meeting will be posted on the CNC of Tech Runtime's YouTube channel, so other people can also watch it. So if uh, people are not able to attend it today, they can actually watch it later. With that, uh, you know, just, um, you know, take it away. Um, thanks. I think you are muted. I cannot actually hear you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, just a brief, like, uh, introduce me, uh, into myself. Um, so my name is Dan. So I work uh, at Bloomberg. Um, so I lead a, a team uh, focusing on, like, a model inference. Um, so uh, there are a few other folks not able to join today. So I'll, I'll, I will um, um, present, like, on behalf of the uh, working group. Um, so um so the the case of project was uh, um so what is the problem we are trying to uh, address right so uh, the goal of the case survey is to uh, to uh, help on the uh, uh, to offer the production grade like inference um uh, to help really uh, um, ease this pro process like of deploying models like to production um on kubernetes um so so as you can see there are like uh, um, once um Inference is a, it's basically the last mileage on the entire like a machine learning life cycle. So once you have the data and you you train the model, so the last step is actually to uh, deploy your models to production to uh, um to serve the model like a um it's a it's the basically the most critical step to realize the business of the uh, value of the model uh, once it's trained. So um. Typical use cases like uh, oh, uh, uh, I want to like uh, compare the uh, let's say the tax uh, uh, use case like uh, you want to like uh, um, compare the two sentence like uh, to find out similarities or like you have like a uh, uh, classified news articles or like uh, a magic model to like uh, um, um, to uh, like uh, um, in like like LinkedIn there's a use case where you want to like uh, route like a resume to your like uh, um, you're like a prospective like importer. So there's a, a lot of others like image processing like use cases. Uh, so all these are like uh, um, powered by like AI models. Um, so we can imagine nowadays probably uh, most of the uh, um, um, applications like uh, some uh, somewhere will have the uh, AI model like uh, uh, on their app to like uh, uh, to serve their like uh, business needs um, uh, in various different uh, industry. Um, um, Makes sense. Um, so, um, so the deploy models like on Kubernetes actually notoriously totally hard um, for like uh, you can imagine like the people like who has a background of a data scientist or like a data engineer. So those people like uh, uh, are coming from like uh, uh, like uh, um, various different backgrounds because they don't necessarily have the engineering background. So like serving a model like a uh, uh, to production, especially on Kubernetes environment, is uh, particularly challenging. So there are many problems they need to like, uh, um, or they need a very like um, in-depth knowledge, like of um, not just like Kubernetes. It also involves like uh, how do you serialize models and build a model server, and then how do you like uh, send a, a inference request to about like HTTP or gRPC, and how do you continuize your model. Uh, so um, compared to like uh, traditional like um, um, services like uh, Microservices like a model inference service is basically kind of like a specialized service where like it's a not just code it's a like code plus model, right? Like um um, um so uh, how do you update the models like uh, using GitOps or like a, uh, and then like a uh, and when you get into the Kubernetes weeds like uh, you need to know all these Kubernetes concepts that deployment service how do you scale up and down like with HPA VPA KPA. Uh, and uh, uh, how do you set up and read in these probes? And uh, uh, how do you like uh, where do you store your models? Like using persistent volumes, or like other like cloud storage? And uh, and even if you want to protect your infrastructure service endpoints, like uh, you will need to like a service mesh. 
and like uh, uh, and often the time you also need like a uh, connect your like infra service not just like via HTTP you you may also like have event driven like a uh, uh, kind of use case like a doing like a uh, perform the inference like asynchronously via like a cloud events or something like that and uh, uh, you will also need to like set up your model on GPUs um, to accelerate the inference because nowadays the ch the trend is like the models are getting bigger I, I, I probably everyone knows like chat GPT right now like uh, uh, so the GPT model is particularly large, like uh, uh, so it can like, get ranged in the in size of like a uh, hundred gigabytes models. How do you serve that on Kubernetes? It's a it's a very challenging problem, which uh, uh, a lot of people are currently actively working on. That um, you may need like um, uh, many GPUs like to serve a single model, uh, not just how, how, uh, scale like how, vertically. You also need to like a uh, uh, another dimension like to scale like horizontally, uh, both horizontal and uh, vertically. Um, so yeah, so what is KServe, right? So KServe is, uh, uh, the goal of KServe is, uh, the highly uh, scalable and uh, standards based cloud native models inference platform. Um, that's, uh, um, we want to like push the standards really, um, 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 deploy models shouldn't be different to across different ML frameworks and, uh, um, because, uh, all the, uh, uh except the model format, uh, which are different, um, the other, uh, uh, the other, like uh, how to serve the model and the uh, uh, standard request and get the response is all same. Um, and uh, we have uh, an open like inference protocol, which was uh, uh, um, or it was originally proposed and did, uh, proposed like uh, implemented in case of project. Um, the project right now is hosted as a incubation project in the uh, area AI. Uh, it's uh, also under the Linux Foundation. Um, the part of the reason like I get directed to here is like we were seeking to um, wonder if there is any way we uh, can like do a cross um, hosting um, along that line like because like uh, a lot of the case serve stuff is actually um, it's like uh, because as you as you see like our missions actually make the model inference cloud native right so a lot of the um, project you work with like like Istio, K Native, uh, like uh, and and uh, there's a bunch of other projects that we interact with like uh, Argo CD or Argo uh, Argo Workflow uh, and um, uh, Fruit for like storage. Um, so so a lot yeah. of that like, we do like uh, integrate a, a a variety of like a CNCF projects, um, and uh, um, we probably like do like a. It's uh, almost a percentage wise, like uh, maybe like 30 ish percent, like AI, like, um, but like uh, the majority of the work or expertise we require is actually all from like a cloud native uh, landscape. Um, got it, got it. Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> there were some guidelines published regarding uh, whether a project can belong mm -hmm. to the CNCF and uh, Linux Foundation sub. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. Main or a, a, a sub foundation, so I I don't think they can belong uh, both mm -hmm. at this in at the same time. But I think there there can be a lot of collaboration. So I think it's either mm -hmm. one. But, um, uh, after the meeting, I can go back and check and and let you know you know what mm -hmm. what the current status for that is. Um, yeah, but I think it's also in, in in flux a little bit in flux because I mean I think there are some other projects that also ask that. Um, so it might change in the future. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, uh, I, I'm just like, okay, uh, I was initially checking with Emily on, like, a, I think she opened an issue, like, for cross, like, uh, hosting. Uh, that's where, like, I get directly to this working group to uh, kind of, like, uh, talk about the project yeah. and uh, yeah. 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 Uh, see what's the path forward, um, uh, what's the um, best option, like, to um, um, serve this project like that. In, um, yeah. Um, so um, yeah, there's a also like there's a backstory like, I'll mention like uh, uh, shortly. Um, uh, yeah. So the case case server uh, is uh, currently can be deployed both standalone and as an add-on component with Kubeflow. Uh, not sure like if you uh, are like aware of the Kubeflow project, which has the um, they are actually moving uh, to yeah. CNS as well. Um, yep. Yeah, into end machine learning, basically. <laughs> yeah. So KF server was actually originally named as KF serving, as Kubeflow serving. 
So it was like a little story behind that. Uh, I'll talk like a little short. Uh, so um, some of the stats currently, like we have um, uh, like 70% of the Qflow users actually are actively using like a KServe or a KServe predecessor, which was named as a KF serving. Uh, and uh, um, there are like 100K like image downloads like uh, uh, daily uh, and uh, um, and uh, so currently the project has like 20 core committers and we have over like 100 like uh, contributors like uh, from various like regions and countries uh, and, uh, and we have a, a wide list of like adopters currently uh, um, um, which is actively like maintaining the project. Um, um, so yeah, a little bit of backstory. So the, the QK server was originally named as KF serving, so which was uh, uh, under the we it was uh, created as a sub project on the Qflow uh, back in like uh, 2019, uh, and uh, and later on like uh, uh, Nvidia like uh, contributed to uh, like uh, uh, a standardized uh, inference protocol to K uh, the K original like, KF serving project, and then uh, in 2021 like IBM open source the zero like a uh, model mesh like a uh, uh, project to uh, K serve uh, to address the uh, um the uh, like uh, um multi-model kind of like a, a problem space um and um uh in 2020 um uh, the project was uh it was like actually it was uh end of like 2021 it was moved to like AFAI. um um so yeah so like and then like uh, uh later last year and then qflow um Guess like the the case server was already moved out from Qflow as an independent project, and now like Qflow entire Qflow is also moving over to like CNCF. Um, so sometimes it's a little confused to use why our project is being AFI and Qflow is proposing to CNCF. There is some confusion because uh, um, as you can imagine, like a serving is still a critical component under Qflow, which used today for a lot of people. Like a, it's like a critical like a. a uh, component to like for a production like a model serving um so um yeah but uh, i have a question so the qflow that that is actually in the cncf or or applying for the cncf uh mm -hmm. it ha does it have a, a another server mechanism or it doesn't have any server mechanism and then basically is it, does it allow to just plug in There's, multiple serving mechanisms or? yeah right now it's all uh, all like uh, all the serving options are add-ons like there's no like uh, uh serving options like us under the Qflow umbrella um, got it, got it. Brand. Okay. so that makes sense that makes like sense. A, kind of like a missing a lag like <laughs> um it's like if you look at the entire like ml cycle it's just missing the last step uh of the um but i mean like our project was was like supposed to be the, the original like a uh, um, sub project to uh, under the Qflow, but we um, there's some we decided to like uh, um, because at that time like Google was not uh, willing to donate to the project to a uh, foundation, and then like we uh, and then we made a decision to like our working group made a decision to like uh, uh, move out the project out of Qflow. And now, like yeah. last year, like I say, like, and then like again, like oh, okay, no, I'm going to like move to like a CNCF, and then okay, uh, and then yeah, I got it. Yeah, and then things are changing, and things yeah, are yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of the story, uh, um, which lead to uh, to the yeah this day today. Uh, yeah. Uh, Oh, um, so some of the main features like KSR provides is like uh, the, uh, I'm not going to a lot of details, just like a high level, like uh, we have like a call inference features, like, uh, uh, so, we, um, the, so we offer like uh, um, various, like a uh, support, like uh, many like different ML frameworks. And then we have like open inference protocol, which can work uh, through uh, uh, work across like a much, uh, uh, a lot of the uh, industry leading like a model servers. They all like implement the same protocol, uh, case of proposed, uh, and and we uh, one primary feature we offer is a serverless auto scaling, which is uh, this is um, built on top of Knative project. Um, so um, one of the uh, um, most popular mode like we actually the installation option is actually install K, uh, both like a Knative and a Kserve. 
uh, uh, to offer the serverless capabilities, um, especially like when your service deployed on GPU. So those are precious re resources, right? So you want like have the scale to zero and scale to both scale to and from zero like features. Um, and also to this, uh, have the cloud and PVC storage integrations. And so the model mesh, which was I mentioned earlier, was primarily contributed by IBM for um, address the multi model serving like a problem um, to um, fully utilize the, uh, the container resource. As you can imagine, like a, uh, if you have like a one pod to serve one model, which is like a, a lot of waste of the resource. So if we have like 100, uh, 100 KL or more than that, like the models like deploy on a single Kubernetes cluster. So it's not, um, the re from resource perspective, it's not a, a very efficient. Uh, so my model mesh is kind of addressing that issue. So you can like uh, store like um, uh, I'll, I'll mention that later. Um, and uh, another uh, feature we offer is like inference graph, which is like a multi-stage like a uh, inference. So you have, you one request may go to like a many uh, multiple models uh, to perform a single like inference request. Uh, and a payload logging, which is like a part of like a, a lot of people ask this for like uh, compliance reasons. Like we want to audit all the uh, uh, all the inference requests and why certain prediction was made like uh, in future uh, will become more important than like uh, when these compliance rules are like uh, uh, in place or enforced, uh, like GDPR, those kind of rules. Uh, and... So the question, so in the monitoring and explainability side, do you have any, is that a plugin or something that you can plug into or? Yeah, is model, it... it's all plugins. Yeah, actually, like, okay. so we plug in like a, a variety of uh, uh, explainers, like uh, uh, from like, uh, uh, so there are some projects on the FAI, which is like uh, offers like AIX, for example, it's also a, a FAI project. Like SHAP or something like that? Or... Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Uh, it, uh, yeah, we all integrate with that, so. Um, and, uh, and there's also like a model monitoring, like there's bars, like adversary uh, outlier drift detections um, to uh, monitor the model. Uh, not like from the service, uh, it's like a, this is more like a specific to ML models, like monitoring. Um, in addition to like, of course, like you need, still need a standards, like a, uh, like a QPS, like a, a latency, all those things still needed, but this on top of that, uh, for ML models, there are special requirements you need to like, uh, uh, make sure the models are not like attributed over the time. Um, yep, yep, makes sense. Um, so, so hi, uh, hi uh, so I was curious, like, how does multi model serving work? So, is it like uh, multiple models are running in a single pod? Yeah, or, yeah you know? I'll, I'll talk about that. I have that. Slide oh. later. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, um, so as you can see, this is like a, so everything like it's a um, case service like a cloud native way. So we uh, so the the primary interface is actually YAML. Uh, so in, implement as CRDs. Uh, so um, the 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 customer resource uh, is named as like inference service. Uh, and uh, so you can see here like the um, we try to like make the uh, the YAML very like ML like user friendly. So. Uh, we don't, uh, although we also support like a pod and a container spec, but like uh, at the high level, we, uh, in a lot of the use cases, you just need like a simple, uh, like a user just uh, need to come in like with a model URL, which is stored in, the model can be stored in like some cloud storage. So uh, we were translating to like a, a container spec uh, under the hood to launch the pod. Um, so um, from a user perspective, you just need to like uh, um, know where the model is stored and then provide what's the model format and the version of the model. And then we will uh, uh, pick up a, a proper like a runtime. We call it like serving runtime. Uh, it's basically, these are like a serving runtimes are defined by like a case of admins, um, like to um, for like a, a given like a model format, what are the serving options that can serve this model? For example, there are like a variety like a, a model servers that in the industry like a, and from NVIDIA, like a virus, uh, different uh, Microsoft, uh, uh, Google, like the TensorFlow. Do you, do you scale the, the, sorry, the, do you, uh, the, do you, you can you tie it to like an HPA, like a... Yeah, so, uh, so there are bar, different options, yeah. like for auto scaling, like, uh, uh, so the, for the serverless, like a uh, uh, installation options, then it, it used the, the KPI, the, the KPI Canadian provides. So it's a scale based on QPS. Uh, and uh, and there's another raw Kubernetes deployment mode, 
where uh, it just used a standardized uh, KPA. Uh, yeah, KPA. Got it. Okay. So we do provide a, a different uh, installer whether you want a serverless or not. Yeah, I was curious. So like, apart from the like out of the box model formats that are supported, since this is a custom resource, does it also mean like I can create my own like, custom model server? And yep. Yeah, so we, okay. uh, I didn't show it here, but uh, there's also on this spec, or there are also container spec. So you can like uh, plug in your custom, like uh, uh, if you build your own like a serving all time, you can uh, pretty much like uh, uh, use custom uh, the infrastructure service to serve your model. But we do provide uh, APIs, so you can extend our APIs, then you can easily build those container images like serving all time. So we do provide a Python API. You can just uh, like, Minimal code, you don't need to like wire up like a HTTP or gRPC. We all implement that for you, for the user. And then uh, you just need to like uh, uh, implement a few like uh, uh, handlers, uh, how to do the pre processing uh, and uh, predict. And then it'll, it'll, you can use like, a, like for us, like we use like cloud native build packs. You can easily like uh, uh, build an image from that. So that's kind of how we use it internally. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention like build pack, it's another like CNCF project. So you can see like how many like CNC project we use like uh, in this project uh, in case of. Um, yeah, so this is just like a support matrix, like a, uh, what are the model servers like we support and then uh, there are variety like a mirror frameworks, like a kind of the support matrix, like a, which one supports like a, both REST and gRPC. Um, um, yeah, so this is a like a kind of high level like a um, diagram how the uh, kind of serverless mode model uh, serving works. So uh, you can see the YAMLs. Um, you can see there's a transformer and predictor. If you are familiar with ML, like uh, so, this is uh, like often the time like uh, the models only understand uh, like tensors like our matrix of now like a uh, uh, flows like a uh, real numbers and. Uh, Often time, you like uh, if you have a text input or image input, you actually need a pre-processing processing step to like uh, do like feature extractions or like convert from like uh, your like text into like matrix, right? So you need a little like uh, pre-processing there. So and also like for example, this example you can see that uh, let's say you build a, like a, a Uber driver model, and then you have like a uh, you have like a you need to like a build a, like a, get some features. Uh, there's a, a another project called a Feature Store. Uh, so like they basically, uh, it's a store where I store all the like the features, like, uh, so for a given driver, you want to, uh, let's say fetch the features for this, uh, driver for like, what's uh, our list stats or, uh, various different features you need like to build this model. Right. Um, so, so this is a simple example, like uh, where you kind of do the pre-processing and featureize and convert to a, a matrix, and then you can send to the model, uh, can perform the actual inference. Uh, the, the model itself is a standard, like SK so. So um, a request like comes in, so it will go through the, whether it's like the HTTP or gRPC, uh, or like you can be like a deployed on service mesh and then get authenticated like with like a mutual tiers in clusters. So uh, it depends on like about um, people's needs. Um, so uh, we, we we actually use like a Istio service mesh to like to uh, kind of like do um, service to service communications. Um, um, so the request comes in and then like it goes through the, so this is a, actually this is particular for like a uh, uh, serverless mode. So there's Q proxy in front of the, uh, in front of the uh, the model, which is like basically to enable the auto scan based on QPS. Uh, so we have like the, the case of controller, which is uh, launch the pod with K native services uh, and then do the pre-processing and, and then like the standard and then forward the request to the predictor to uh, perform the inference. Uh, the models can be located on like uh, some cloud storage. So we spin up an init container downloads model once the model is available and then like uh, it will, it's ready for like serving the traffic. Um, yeah, so the, the auto scaling is either based on KPA or HPA, like based on the different like uh, uh, installation options. Yeah, the, the model storage, we support like a variety like of uh, different like storage options, like S3, GCS, like Azure, like HTTP, uh, PVC. Um, so that feature store uh, project, is that a, like another open source project that? Yep, it's also on the AFAI, yeah, it's called Feast. Got it, got it, okay. Yeah. So you, you can look at KSOP, it's a very interesting space, like in, in like a 
projects under ARFI and a bunch of projects under CNCF. Like, uh, it's a very interesting space. Like, <laughs> yeah, it does. There's a lot of uh, yeah. cross. It's a very broad, like, yeah. Technology yeah. Uh, sharing, I guess. It's, yeah, there's, yeah. It, it overlaps into, or, or it crosses over, you know, because it, it, it's just, I mean, the whole thing is just too many components, right? Or a lot of components, right? And, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. where you yeah. need to build all your learning pipeline. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so this is like the case of like open interface protocol. So like uh, we define a standardized uh, HTTP and gRPC protocol, like for perform inference and a uh, uh, model house, like uh, how are you like uh, returning a model metadata, like uh, there are uh, in the industry, like there are like a few like uh, uh, leading like a uh, uh, model service which implement this protocol, uh, which will also like a service as like a uh, creates those like default like serving runtimes for our user to. Um, um, so this is like a um, a very successful like kind of a. Uh, um protocol like uh, which has a uh, um a lot of uh, adoptions like a uh, um across like a uh, many like uh, almost like all the we cover all the model frameworks now um uh, there's a uh, yeah pipe there's touch serve uh, which is the primary under the uh, basically the serving options like under the uh, pytorch uh, and, and nvidia which is the uh, who like originally uh, proposed this proposal to a case project uh, uh Question about these. So, so these these are not Kubernetes native per se, right? So is that like some one of the differentiation factors uh, between these and Kser? Uh, these are not like uh, you are talking about the uh, serving uh, model servers or all of the projects. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the uh, the model servers are not particularly like uh, it's uh it's just like a uh, standalone single node model server. Um, yeah, but we and then like we basically run that in the Kubernetes environment. I see, I see. So, so you can you, case server actually can support all of these. Let me see. Yeah, um, got it. Got it. Yeah. We just launch it in Kubernetes, right? Yeah, got it. Got it. Um, so just out of curiosity, so if I have um, like a Kubernetes like can I swap out the underlying runtime? So maybe they start out with I don't know, like scikit. I run into some. Probably. Yeah, so so this is an example of like a scale and serving runtime we define. So okay. um, you can see how the uh, so the image itself is basically the the model server, um, and uh, and then there's a few arguments like how um, you start like HTTP or gRPC, um, and then like uh, it states like what model format is this so this model server supports, and then it, and then it will match the inference service like say oh I want to serve SQL and then it will match so which serving runtime can actually serve this model and then we'll launch the right like parts back um, okay. so user don't need to like uh, um, yeah don't need to know this like a serving runtime. don't even make aware like all these model servers it's just like a, um, it's kind of like a more like implementing details uh, as now you know the what's the open like a uh, standard the protocol you, you know, how you you can, well, how you uh, can send a request and then that's all you need to know you don't even need to know like uh, what serving runtime we are you using in the um, on the hood as long as you speak the same language so like that's the kind of whole purpose of the open inference protocol so even today like I want to like uh, um oh tomorrow I want to oh I don't want to use SKNM I want to uh, use the uh, switch to PyTorch. So they still speak the same inference protocol, and then you just need to like uh, update the model and the model format name. Then it will still your your it will your like uh, request will still uh, successful like uh, uh, getting inference just... like uh, yeah as long as they're using the same like uh, protocol. Yeah, so here you can actually change your image to PyTorch or to NVIDIA or to yeah yeah they all speak the yeah. implement the same protocol. Yeah. yeah, that's the whole purpose of the yeah. Can work uh, I have a question on a similar line, but more like uh, if you run a case serve um, different environment, whether on premise or in the cloud, you know, AWS, Azure, GCP, and etc. Uh, is there any like case serve paper or best practice? Um, you know, what type of service to choose? Any criteria to choose? Does it, does it matter or? What service so, to, to, to make, make to make the workload portable across different cloud and on premise? Um, so the case, the case of itself, like uh, it's supposed to like just like uh, we um, all the we don't like uh, uh, have like specific like information 
for like a different clouding implement uh, for various different clouds. Like it's uh, just like based on Kubernetes. We don't, there's no code, like any single line of code, which is like, it, there may be storage. Like when we download the model from like S3, there is some specialized logic of how like uh, to authenticate like a star, um, those like uh, download those models. Other than that, we don't have like a, um, like cloud specific like implementation is all based on Kubernetes. So for example, we run like a case of uh, on-prem and uh, zero or a lot of other users like run cloud. So, um, so, so for example, you know, if you run BigQuery, obviously that's only in GCP, so you cannot mm -hmm. run that elsewhere. So, um, but yeah, maybe, maybe like for runtime or whatever, I don't know, is there any other uh, restrictions? We, so there's no like a, runtime which is specific to cloud um yeah we don't like to use uh, any specific cloud service uh under kserve okay so, thanks yeah we try to be cloud agnostic um yeah i mean like aws has its own service to sage maker i don't i don't know what they of use. course like uh, if there's like a uh, there will be integration probably like ingress how do you like uh, AWS, whatever, like a low balancer, those kind of thing might be like a, but a case of doesn't like a, it's more when you like deploy a case of to uh, AWS, so you need to set up those like a, uh, addition, in addition to the case of installation. Um, but the case of itself doesn't like have any uh, kind of cloud specific logic. Um, is that a managed service for this? I don't even know if it makes sense. Hmm? Is there like a managed service for case server? But I don't even know if it makes sense to have something like that, but I'm just curious. Yeah, managed service tends to be cloud specific. So uh, yeah. yeah, like uh, for example, like Azure, like a managed, they call it yeah. like a infrared managed endpoint. So like that's very like Azure specific, like implementation. Uh, so, uh, but that's not the goal of like case server. It's a, we, we want to like a run case of anywhere, like, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the cloud providers have their own offerings, but sometimes they don't tell you what they use under yeah. the hood, right? Right. And uh, right. you could actually build your own pipeline with just like Kubernetes mm -hmm. and EC2 servers. And I guess you could use something like KSERV, right? Yeah. The KSERV, I mean, the primary like a goal of KSERV is like all like the motivations, like uh, it's purely open source and then like it's community driven. Um, so we can collaborate. Um, there's no commercial or anything like it's like it's not uh, it's like more like a, we collaborate a bunch of companies to like to I mean we use it only internally and uh, and IBM too uh, like um, so like it's more the motivations like we can collaborate with the open source community to like uh, uh, implement it because like a, each company where we have a limited resources like we won't be able to uh, the scope of a case so we can see like it's pretty large and. Um, Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so model mesh. So model mesh is uh, yeah, Nick is not here today, but uh, um, so uh, which is like open source primarily um, from like IBM. Um, it's basically to uh, address the uh, issues of like uh, improve like container resource utilizations. So uh, to overcome the limit of like a one model one part like kind of like uh, limitations. So you can like here like can. Uh, um, you can like call like, uh, models like uh, uh, on a, in a single container. So each container can uh, serve like a, a different set of models. Um, and uh, so the, a good analogy is like you scale, you basically deploy a pod to node and here we are deploying model to a container. So it's uh, kind of like a scheduler behind it. It's like a very similar to how you schedule a pod to node. So we can hear like the, the container is equivalent to node and the model is equivalent to pod. Um, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, so each model is basically, uh, you have like a, say you have like a 10 gig and your mo each model, like based on your model size, if one gig, so how many models can be like a, a deployed on, uh, on on this container? So it has a smart schedule right on behind like to schedule these models onto uh, these containers. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like, uh, it's on the hood, it's like kind of like a distributor uh, ARU cache, like when models like uh, as, uh, it will like uh, try to evict like uh, some of the uh, models which is not used. Um, it's basically currently powers all the uh, IBM Watson 
AI models um, uh, for many years, and they decided to like open source uh, this to like a uh, case project. Makes sense. On related questions, that is this something that something like Chat GPT, they kind of like how it works in the hood or something like um, mm -hmm. like when this um, mm -hmm. do they have multiple models? I'm not really sure. Yeah, Chat GPT is like the interesting question is, is this use case more for like a lot of like um, small models, uh, which you want to like say you have a hundred like uh, models like a uh, media size like a megabytes or one gig. Um, so you want to like uh, um, share the container resource and you. Uh, like a train model for each like a news category or something like that. So, um, so you can easily deploy like those a hundred models like uh, into to share the container resources. But if like a chat GPT, those are like the model itself. It's like a two hundred gig. Like I'm not sure if it's worth like sharing. <laughs> it's like a large container. Like anyway, like so. Uh, it depends on the use case actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Got it. Mm. Yeah, some of the features is like it also pros like auto scaling, like uh, it monitors there. There's a, like a uh, model mesh sidecar, which is also like a, similar to like a K native Q proxy, which does the uh, kind of monitor the traffic of the to the model and then does auto scaling. Um, yeah, um, yeah, it also supports the same set of like a uh, um, um, serving runtimes, like a uh, same as the as a standard like a case of like a uh, runtimes. Uh, and we use the same the nice things like we use the exactly the same uh, interface as uh, with the inference service. The only difference is you just need to like a uh, field that indicates the annotation says, oh, I want to deploy to metal mesh. Uh, but the backend is completely different. But the interface is the same to user. Um, yeah, so this is like the same inference service CR. So it have, on the hood, we have like a, a model mesh and a case of controller, which is uh, reconciled into. Because the, the way like on the uh, at the back end is fairly different. So um, but to user, it's actually uh, where the model is located and where they, they actually don't need to care. Um, and how we share is share the resources as implementing details. That's what we try to abstract away from user. Um, you you extract that with different API endpoints? So, so if like uh... no, it's a it's the same uh, same YAML spec and as well as the same inference protocol. Um, pretty much the same as a standard standard like uh, I I just talked about the in pre yeah but if you if you're serving like on an API endpoint multiple models you you mm -hmm. are, you can actually serve it from a single one and and then how do you divide uh, the calls to to different different the different models is it through like an endpoint path or something like that or what? yeah 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 so. Uh, Okay. Kind of go back. Uh, so yeah, so the when a request come in, so there's a, a there's a path called like a model name. There's a model. Each model has a name. So based on that, the model name, the sidecar will find. So there's like a routing which is stored in the SCD. Uh, okay. So we'll we'll find that or oh, where the model is located. Oh, I want to uh, send a request to model, let's say M, right? And yeah. then the the model mesh sidecar will actually find the it it watch the SCD like a routing like a table. I will see oh model M is located on uh, part three and four, and then basically will will sidecar will re, if you it will basically reroute the request to the to the to the part which contains that model. Got it. Got it. What happened? Uh, where did my slide go? Oh, we still see your slide. I don't know. So we see the. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. Case of uh, 1.0 roadmap, maybe on your desktop. Oh, yeah. You, you lost it on your desktop. <laughs> yeah. What? What happened here? I couldn't see it anymore. Uh, yeah, somehow like I lost it. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. 
sorry. Uh, oh, anyway, it's a, like the last slide. Um, so yeah, this, this year we are looking to like uh, yeah, basically uh, graduate to like a one point zero. Um, you know, uh, have some yeah, there's a, a milestone like we want to hit. Um, just as to counter it's a, it's a, like a incubation project, so we want to get into like a one point zero like uh, by end of this year. Yeah. So do you do you your goal is to belong to both foundations to the or or move to the CNCF for or you yeah so I'll, I'll um, yeah. yeah I'll, I'm trying to like uh, see like uh, uh, what would be the best option for the project like uh, um how this possibility to like have a cross hosted uh, I'm not sure how that works but. Uh, yeah, so I th I mean you already opened the ticket, so that's in motion. So I think I I, I would just um mm. I would just follow up on that on that ticket, right? So the mm -hmm. um yeah, the, uh, once Qflow is in CNCF, then like uh, uh, we, if people like are looking to like serving options, like uh, then oh oh it will look a little odd that like uh, it belongs to a different foundation and uh I don't yeah. know. <laughs> So yeah, and, and we are constantly getting these questions. Like, oh, so I'm, um, I'm still, yeah, not, I'm also not sure, like, what would be the best option for us. But I want to seek your advice and ideas. Um, um, I think, I think, from, from my point of view, it might be better to be under the CNCF because it kind of aligns more with Qflow and then aligns with yeah, yeah, that's the stuff, my, right? Yeah. So for sure. what I'm thinking is like maybe the CNCF could be the primary and then you could be something like a collaborator within the in the mm -hmm. LFAI or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but that doesn't prevent anybody from just collaborating because it's all open open source, right? Yep. But yeah, and then and, and then from the point of view yeah. of the, like like the marketing stuff, and you can get help from the CNCF mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. the the conferences and that type of thing, right? Like because all the talks we did is all on like a cube cards. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. So yeah, I've also talked like on on the uh, KubeCon, come upcoming KubeCon, but to talk about the state and the future of the model serving, cloud native yeah. model serving. Um, yeah. So so yeah so yeah I think uh, we'll, yeah we'll follow just up follow up on the ticket right and mm. I can I, I can also comment too and. Nikita mm -hmm. also can comment on Nikita is a part of the TSC now, so maybe mm -hmm. she can also um uh, if, like um mm -hmm. you know talk about it or something in some meetings internally or, or, or how they address this. But I I think they discussed this issue a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, but they after that there there wasn't any progress after the, so well, I haven't seen any progress. So it will be good to just kind of follow up and see. And, and kind of keep pushing, right? So to see what mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to come to some sort of conclusion, right? Because I mean, it's kind of like up in the air now, right? So it's not mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I, just uh, seven twenty four. Like, where is the ticket, and do you have a link to it? I yeah. think the it's on the Tech Runtimes channel. I think uh, originally uh, I started a thread I, I, on I, that. Yeah, uh, like a lot. From like last uh, year, I uh, can find out the thread. Um, I I can search for it too. That's all right. Yeah. Did you find it? It should be like some time around the, the KubeCon US time. Uh, I'm trying to find the thread. Yeah, yeah. Initially, I talked with Emily on during the KubeCon, and then he asked me to. Yeah, I found this. Oh, no, sorry, it's not the one. Uh, I'll find in the uh, that's a good thing. I was trying to find it. Yeah, you yeah. Can, so you can share it on the on the um, 
yeah check around time channel yeah yeah check around time yeah 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 cool awesome so what would be the next uh, step like uh, um we um yeah i think we'll just follow up on follow up right follow up on the ticket right and okay and keep um keep pushing to uh to get a more definitive answer or mm -hmm. uh, you also have to make a decision right so like mm -hmm. um, i think uh, there was a comment also about belonging not belonging to two foundations at the same time mm -hmm. so I, I have i have to read the ticket too but uh, mm -hmm. uh, you may have to make a decision like okay i'm gonna mm -hmm. actually move to the cncf right and and then then the CNCF staff needs to kind of has, start. Has there anyone done this before, like moving from it's on the same Linux only from in a, one sub no, 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 I think I, don't, I haven't seen that. I mean, I've been working mm -hmm. with CNCF from like three or a little bit longer than three years, and I haven't mm -hmm. seen. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think it's Keso is a very special project, <laughs> which like a kind of like a uh, across the both kind of AI and the cloud yeah. landscape. Um, but, it, but it's kind of good that this is happening too, because it may not be the the, the last time, right? So, mm -hmm. so there might be uh, some sort of process that needs to be created, right? So, and mm -hmm. then then mm -hmm. create a kind of transparency and and uh, clarity, right? Then mm -hmm. for, for for different projects. Mm -hmm. awesome. I'll take a look at the ticket and follow up with the POC. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah. Any other questions? Any anybody else? All right. All right. Well, yeah. thank you. And and then yeah, just, just keep chatting on the mm -hmm. Tag Run Time channel. And yeah, you can ping me, you can ping Nikita. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll help you out. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we'll follow up. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>